Hello, everyone. Welcome to join today's seminar, Coding for Justice, the Tai Chi Man case. I'm Catherine. In the beginning of today's cinema, we are going to share with you a video talking about the truth of the Tai Chi Man case. As a brief introduction, Tai Chi Man is an ancient non-pai of Qigong, martial arts, and self-cultivation. It's an international non-profit organization in Taiwan. Over the years, Dr. Hong and his thesis has visited 101 countries to advocate the love and peace. How was such a valuable organization will involve a 25 years tax prosecutions until today? The case is simple. Let's hear from Dr. Massimo Introvenia. What is the Taiji Man case and what the Taiji Man case is not? The Taiji Man case is a case of uh, freedom of uh, religion or belief form, which we can divide in uh, four types. Time one, we all know that uh, Taiwan enjoys religious liberty, unlike mainland China, but it was not always the case. Taiwan had a, a policy of controlling and repressing independent religious movements during the martial law period and beyond. And in 1996, religious and spiritual groups suspected of not supporting the president were severely repressed. Taiji Man was also involved in this, even if it never took political sides. Its uh, grandmaster or Shifu, Dr. Hong, was arrested and members were persecuted. Second time, the total victory of Taiji Man, up to the highest courts in Taiwan, Taiji Man won all the court cases. Dr. Hong and his co-defendants were declared innocent and even awarded the compensation money for the past unjust detention. Time number three, however, a byproduct of this four persecution remain in the shape of uh, tax bills even if the courts had said there was no tax evasion, the tax bureau continued to try to impose bills on Dr. Hong and the Taiji Men. The tax bureau revoked all the bills except one for the year 1992 based on a technicality. And time number four, even if courts of law told them not to do it, the Tax Bureau and the Enforcement Agency in 2020 uh, auctioned and then confiscated the lands belonging to Dr. Hong and intended for a spiritual cultivation center of Taiji Man. Now, it's important that we understand what the Taiji Man case is not. It's not a tax dispute between a citizen and the government. It will not create uh, uh, so much commotion. Of course, the case shows some injustice uh, in uh, Taiwanese uh, tax bureaucracy, but we should remember that the root uh, is the form. It's a freedom of religion or belief case and what is done to Taiji Man is a violation of the form. Number two, it's not about money. Taiji Man might have settled with the tax office and spent much less money than they did in prosecuting this case for 25 years, but it's about form. It's uh, not about money and that's why uh, the case continues. And number three, it's not a protest against uh, Taiwan or the Taiwanese system. Those of the Taiji men 
who live in Taiwan, who are Taiwanese citizens, they love their country, they are patriots, they understand Taiwan has a lot of problems, and precisely uh, because of this, they want Taiwan to have a good image as a country where form is respected. So it is a form case, and because it is a form case, thousands of people are in the streets in Taiwan protesting about it. And because it's a form case, I believe it deserves to be internationalized and all the governments, agencies, NGOs caring for form should care for this case and not to be misled into dismissing it as a private tax dispute between a citizen and the state, but understand that fundamental principles of freedom of religion and belief and respect for spiritual minorities are at work in this important case. Thank you. A justified taxation system represents incorruption and fundamental human rights in every country. What Tai Chi Man has been fighting for is simply the justice and the truth of this case. It's our ultimate goal that the human rights to taxation can be realized in Taiwan one day. Next, we are going to invite two wonderful guests, Athena and Peggy, to join us. Athena is a college student. She is going to share with us how the Tai Chi Man case has impacted her life and why it is so important to pursue the justice for a younger generation. Welcome. Hello everyone. My name is Athena. I'm a 21-year-old college student. I practiced in Qigong and Tai Chi Man since I was a child. Tai Chi Man has been persecuted by the fabricated tax bills for 25 years. Tai Chi Man means a lot to me. So I joined the action of Fair Tax Reform Alliance. And I, who is not allowed a former student, learned a lot of legal and tax knowledge in the process and became more aware of the importance of national legal and tax reform. The Tai Man case originated from prosecutor Ho Kong-ren's abuse of power and the transfer of false information to the National Taxation Bureau, which resulted in illegal, illegal taxation. We all knew that on July 13, 2007, the Taiwan Supreme Court found Tai Chi Men not guilty and no tax evasion. In addition, Tai Chi Men has won 18 times in the administrative remedies procedures. The administrative deputy minister of the Ministry of Finance, Mr. Zhang Shenhe, also promised to stop the case within two months. In the public hearing held in the Legislative Yuan on June 17, 2010. According to above facts, the NTB should have automatically revoked the illegal tax bill. But sadly, the NTB defied the judicial decision and even illegally auctioned off a spiritual cultivation site on August 21st last year. I will never forget this heartbreaking memory. Last year, we had sacrificed the whole summer to come to the Admi Administrative Enforcement Agency and the Ministry of Finance, and not only that, the day before the auction, because we still had so little expectation and trust in the government. We came to the control room, hoping that the officials in the meeting would come out to give a fair talk to stop this tragedy from happening. However, we shouted from 5 to 10 p.m. Our voices were dumped and our throats were broken, but none of the officials came out to listen. We all left in frustration. That night, I didn't close my eyes all night, and I realized that so many tax victims in Taiwan were suffering so much. We lived in fear and panic day and night, not knowing where the future would be. The next day, our land which was supposed to be the site for a self-cultivation center was illegally auctioned and nationalized based on the so-called legal procedures claimed by the officials. Over the years, we have gone through various religious procedures in Taiwan. We went to Kalao Dolan Boulevard and many government agencies, including the Legislative Yuan, the Judicial Yuan, 
the examination yuan, the control yuan, and the presidential office many times. In this endless struggle, we have encountered many tax victims like us. We have been persecuted by the illegal tax bills and have no way to get help. Not only the Taijiman case, the administrative enforcement agency has a jaw dropping statistical data. According to annual statistics of new tax and fee enforcement cases, there were 1.89 million cases in 2001 and 14.31 million cases in 2020, which is more than 7.53 times. The concern is how many unjust and false cases there may be behind this huge number. Former Justice Xu Yuxiu said, taxation and punishment are the two major sufferings brought to the people by the government. The people have the obligation to pay taxes, but the government has the responsibility to tax people by law. In fact, the time and money we have spent on our struggle far exceeds the amount we are required to pay in illegal tax bills. The driving force behind our courage to move forward is a pure love for the country and the world. I stand up today because I love the land on which I be depend for my survival and I do not want my beloved country to, lo to lose face on international arena because of the pers persecution for a few bureaucrats. Nor do I want the next innocent people to suffer. Although our land was, has been illegal, illegally optional, off, it will never take away our insistence on love and truth. The most imp precious thing I've learned at Tajiman was to distinguish between truth and false, right and wrong, good and bad. At the 2021 International Religious, Religious Freedom Summit in Washington, D.C. in July, many ongoing re religious persecutions around the world were uncovered, and the Tajiman case in Taiwan received much attention. Eric Rutz, chairperson of the European Interreligious Forum for Religious Freedoms, Freedom, said he could not understand how the few bureaucrats could be allowed to persist in persecuting a peaceful, honest, spiritual community that had proven its innocence for 25 years, even as the land was confiscated by government auction. The control yuan investigated the illegal mistakes and violations of human rights by the relevant government authorities, but did not let the case come to the end. A system that allows government officials could con to continue to abuse their power without being stopped and without being properly accused should be reformed. Taxes are an important source of economic development and construction for the country. The country belongs to the people, so it is also people's obligation to pay taxes. However, if the government does not tax people legally, or if it spends the tax money on matters that are not really for the benefit for the people, then the cart is put before the horse, and not only do the people not get the protection they deserve, but the country cannot develop well. Illegal taxation, including the use of taxation as a means of persecuting religious and spiritual communities. In the Taijiman case, we can see the injustice of Taiwan's legal and taxation system, including the malfunctioning remedy procedures and the brutality of a few offending officials who violated their authority by challenging the superiors, shaking the nation's foundation, and destroying the law system, resulting in Taiwan's obvious violations of international covenants on human rights. I would like to tell those illegal officials, if you know you have done wrong, you should be brave enough to admit it and correct it, instead of delaying it again and again which is not only hurting the country, but also hurting yourself. Finally, I would like to call on the government to immediately redress the Taijiman case and severely punish the illegal officials in order to make the national tax system fair and better. Thank you all. The government is supposed to function as a pillar of society and be a fundamental structure for the people. However, in the Taijiman case, 
Taiwanese government officials continue to abuse their positions and power to harm its citizens through the unfair taxation process. Next, we are going to hear about Peggy's story. She is a primary school teacher, also a Taiji Mandiji. Welcome. I am a primary school teacher, and I am doing my best in my job, hoping to nurture the next generation for the country. I came to Taiji Man to practice Qigong because after I had my first child, I felt a little unwell, then went to the hospital for a checkup and found that I had rheumatism index. I was afraid that I would need to take medication to control this disease. So I wanted to try something other than medication to regain my health. Because some of my colleagues were practice Qigong, so I asked them to tell me to practice Qigong with them. After practice Qigong, my body did improve. And my husband, who originally only went to practice Qigong with me, was also able to improve his head as by accident. My husband and I are very grateful to Shifu for accepting us as this and giving us back our health. In addition to finding my health back, I started my life of self-cultivation. Shifu taught me to learn all good and avoid all bad, follow the guidance of conscience, distinguish right from wrong. The wisdom I have learned supports me to pass many life tests. Besides, in these years, I have watched Shifu lead his deeds to inherit traditional culture and complete thousands of cultural performances, including being invited by the government to perform in Universal and Taiwan National Day for eight times. Moreover, Shifu has visited more than 101 countries to deliver love and peace messages. Shifu really leads us to do many meaningful things to balance the world that is becoming worse and worse. Be a teacher. I was so proud of Taiwan's liberty and democracy. I never thought about a government abuse case would happen. However, the Taiji Man case subverted my belief to the government. Taiji Man Qigong Academy traveled to 101 countries on five continents in the 55 years since its establishment, but has suffered from human rights persecution in Taiwan for 25 years. Taiji Man case happened in 1996. It was a fake and false case. 10 years after being persecuted, Taiwan's Supreme Court found Taiji Man not guilty of fraud, tax evasion, or violation of the Tax Collection Act. Shifu and co-defendants all have been compensated by the state for unjust imprisonment. However, the National Taxation Bureau continues to issue illegal tax bills. The Administrative Enforcement Agency even held an illegal auction to forcibly take away Tai Chi Man's land in Miaoli last year. In Tai Chi Man's case, I found the ridiculous faults of the officials. They forged official documents to sell civilians' properties, violated criminal court judgments, and share injustice bonuses. The Tai Chi Man case is not a single case. It needs everyone's attention. If we let this bureaucracy go unreformed, there will be new victims all the time. Bonuses are a source of evil, and only the elimination of associated bonuses would prevent officials from twisting their hearts when implementing the law. People in Taiwan can really live and work in safety and peace. Thank you all. Today, 
Both Athena and Peggy have shared their devastated personal stories. Twenty-five years is a very long time for any human being, and we have been calling for actions to Taiwan's government and take authorities for immediate conscious response to own and correct the mistakes and revoke illegal tax deals. In the end of today's cinema, let's hear the song "Love of the World." Wish all the global citizens can be free from any form of persecutions, and can be surrounded by love and peace. Thank you all. See you next time.